Are you enjoying the above normal temperatures? Yesterday was the 17th straight day that we've had temperatures above normal and we should see that streak at least run to about 20 days before we see that change work in this weekend. You know, our lows have been impressively warm as well. In fact, that has been the bigger driver when it comes to looking at how warm we've been compared to average. Those lows for uh, the past several days have been running uh, about 20 degrees above normal. And when we look at that so far this for the fall, uh, for this late in the fall, we've had the third least amount of days with lows falling below 50. So we haven't had but just a few uh, lows in the 40s so far this fall. If you look at temperatures this morning. It's not in the 40s, but it is a little cooler than it was yesterday. 50s across the map this morning. Checking in at 56 degrees in Lima, 55 in Ottawa, 51 in Salinas. So we'd have some lower 50s off to the south. So grab a jacket this morning. You will need a jacket for sure. If you take a look at the visibility, we've had just a couple patches of fog. Not a big issue, but around parts of Hancock County and parts of Putnam County, we are seeing a little bit more fog there. Otherwise, looking pretty good for the rest of the area. As we take a look at the satellite and the surface map this morning, you can see we just have a few clouds working in, but I'm expecting quite a bit of sunshine still as we go throughout the day today. The rain will stay to our west. Showers and thunderstorms over parts of Kansas, Iowa, and Nebraska this morning. This is a system, though, that is heading our way. So we will see warmer temperatures return ahead of the system, but behind it, we see that cooler air. In fact, look across the west this morning and head out towards parts of Denver, parts of Billings, Montana in the lower 30s. We've got heavy snow falling over the Black Hills of South Dakota. So definitely getting into some cooler weather and that is heading our way once we get into the weekend. So your forecast today, it's going to be a great day to get outside. In fact, I would say today is the best day of the work week because low humidity will have a lot of sunshine and the winds will be fairly light as well. We'll see a southwest wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour and temperatures by the afternoon warming up nicely back into the middle 70s. So as we look at your hourly conditions here, you notice we're dry today, not worried about the weather. As we head throughout tonight, clouds will increase. There could be a couple spotty showers, but uh, I do think a lot of us will stay dry. Definitely the bigger story, the temperature tomorrow morning. Yes, we're back to the summer weather again. Temperatures well into the 60s for Thursday morning. And by tomorrow afternoon, we are looking at the 80s once again. I am expecting lower 80s for your Thursday. So get outside, soak it up tomorrow. There could be a couple isolated showers on Thursday. Notice especially northwest around Paulding and Defiance. So the northwest part of the area, the best chance of rain. But I think most of us will stay dry tomorrow. But then as we head into Friday, rain does increase with this low pressure working into the area. In fact, there is the chance by Friday afternoon and evening for isolated severe storms. So we will keep an eye on that. Some severe weather is possible. And then we get uh, some pretty good rainfall as well. It looks like we'll see at least around an inch of rain widespread. In fact, some of the data has actually so, shown a little bit more than this. So it looks like a decent rainfall coming our way. Looking at your temperatures today, though, 76 for the high. We'll see partly sunny skies. For tonight, we'll see a low of 63, mostly cloudy, a slight chance for a stray shower. Tomorrow, 82, summer-like, and a chance of an isolated storm. But again, don't cancel your plans tomorrow. So I think much of the day is dry. Now, Friday, yes, that's a day where we need to worry about rain, especially by the afternoon. I think Friday evening we'll see widespread showers and thunderstorms. Rain will move out by noon on Saturday, give way to sunshine and sunshine and comfortable fall weather expected into next week.